Today, I want to talk a little bit about the networks and their dependability. Um, dependability on networks also comes more and more because uh, things are producing data. I showed this already yesterday. So this uh, AI-enabled car. It has uh, collision risk prediction. Uh, it has eight onboard cameras, um, six radar emitters, 12 ultrasonic sensors, um, computer power of up to like 12 uh, MacBook Pros, right? So it generates this car alone, something like six uh, gigabytes per hour of data. Okay. Um, and actually, a lot of the things that we discuss in the context of networks are kind of connecting to the topics we had yesterday in the panel. Uh, because on the one hand, in networks, we really need new technology. I will show you a bit why we believe that we should actually uh, innovate the networks a, a lot in the, in the near future. Um, there is also one uh, issue in the context of networks that we also discussed yesterday, that uh, standardization and innovation is relatively slow in this context. And deploying new security features takes quite a lot of time. So we'll talk about VX lens, for example, it's like virtualization technology in data center that took quite a long time until finally uh, there was a, a deployment now. And um, we see also opportunities, uh, how we can uh, speed up this process. And um, related to these new technologies, again, there are also new threats coming. So we kind of uh, try to cover this, this spectrum that we started discussing yesterday. Good, so uh, to what extent can we trust our networks today? So this is uh, what we want to start with. Um, to understand that, let's um, go back a little bit in time. Let's uh, turn back the wheel of time a little bit and see how was the internet looking 50 years ago, right? So this was the internet 50 years ago. The main purpose was to provide connectivity between some fixed locations that were like supercomputers at that time. Obviously, today, every phone is a better supercomputer than that one. But that was the beginning. And then it was used by researchers mainly for simple apl applications like email or file transfer. Um, in the meantime, as we know, the internet has been a huge success. So now it supports connectivity between very different users like humans, machines, uh, data centers, things, cars, um, and also supports wireless and a lot of mobile endpoints, obviously. And the applications have changed a lot. So nowadays, you can have all sorts of applications, e-commerce, telephony over the internet, video on demand, gaming. But interestingly, the technology underlying the internet has not evolved much 